So coming up is the first of three groups now. They are called, or the project is actually called Bet Your Friend. Uh, in the group are Benjamin, Jakob, and Jonathan. The mentors were Isabella and Tobias. And um, I would like for you to present now. So, um, so you all know the situation. You sit on the couch and watch Netflix. And there's a plan. Uh, your plan is to be more active and do more squats. And yeah, the only thing is that you um, need maybe a sport mate to have the motivation. And um, you have a friend in mind, there's Sarah. He, she's a couch potato as you are. And you're calling her and she said, oh yeah, um, we could do sports together, it's a great idea. Mm, there's just one problem. Um, as we all know, uh, after three days, uh, those, uh, the motivation will be gone and nobody would do sports. So there's now a challenge app, um, which is called Bet Your Friend, um, to, uh, which leads you to make more sports, do more outside and, and gets you more on your bike. So um, at first you um, can define a goal, what you want to do. For example, uh, increase your bike kilometers. So you want to go more with a bike. Um, um, to you, you could do a um, you could do a um, bet upon steps. Who who's, um, who does more steps in a week, or who can burn more kilocalories? And um, you can um, define a penalty for the loser. So what the loser has to do? Uh, maybe the loser has to do something for the winner. And um, but why don't why do we need an app for it? Um, we need an app that Sarah is not cheating, or maybe I am not cheating. And uh, so the app is uh, keeping track of the data and your movements. Uh, uh, if you are actually driving the bike, uh, or if you're just faking and saying, oh yeah, I drove this week 100 kilometers. So uh, we need this app to prove that you are saying the truth. And um, we're doing that. Um, I think Benjamin will take um, um, get a closer look later about the technical specs. Um, how we're doing is with uh, position data um, or even data from the smartwatch. Um, so, and I can explain for now how the front end looks like. Um, I think you can see now the app on, uh, on my screen. It's, uh, it should be a smartphone app. It's just simulated here. So, and uh, are you ready for the challenge? And you can type in your name. It's Jacob, and as I said, my friend is Sarah. Then I click next. Sarah does the same thing, just the other way around. Her name's Sarah, my name's Jacob. Um, and then, you bet, I can do more kilometers on a bike than Sarah in a week, or steps, or kilocalories burned. In my case, I want to do more kilometers on a bike than she does, so I click that. Okay, now I can um, say, oh, what, uh, what should Sarah do, um, is doing if she is losing? So, hmm, I am very hungry right now, so maybe she, um, in the end of the week, she could cook me a dinner if I'm winning. So, um, the loser has to uh, cook a dinner for me. But it doesn't, um, See, it seems like so good. We are in day one, and um, she she was more active than I am. Uh, you see it on the graphs. Sarah did my, uh, more by kilometers than I am. I was doing, and um, I just skipped all the other days. It, uh, it's not going to, to be better, so I just go to the uh, solution. Unfortunately, Sarah is the winner and I have to cook a dinner for her. So that's my penalty and um, I, I lost this, this challenge this week. But uh, I have another try next week and I'm much more motivated next week to beat Sarah in this. So I can just click rematch for next week and the same thing, thing starts again. That's um, how the app should look like. And um, in the end, what could be achieved is, um, of course, a better fitness for you and Sarah. 
and maybe also a strengthened relationship between you two because you have a topic to talk about and um, a bet. Yeah, um, but in the long term, you, it could improve mobility because um, you can step on bikes instead of cars if you go to work. Um, you can um, every day you could, you could make I don't know ten kilometers just going um, um, to work with a bike instead of a car or and staying in traffic jams and you can just collect kilometers on on the way. Um, yeah, and in the end, it saves CO2 too. So it's good for our environment. It's good for our mobility. That that is the long term goal. If everybody's using this app. Um, but now we have to talk about the technical implementation because just like that, it won't work. Uh, we have to um, track the data and validate the data. So um, that's where we had another team in our, in our group, which um, had the question, how could we um, keep in track of the data and um, do the technical things, the back end? So that's why Benjamin um, can present his uh, or from his group uh, the solutions. Yes. So um, the project have another part which you can see there. Um, the programming is based on HTML. Um, we programmed it on a website called Code Sandbox. Um, we made the part of the app which is uh, responsible for the betting information. Uh, here you can see a list of bets, um, which shows uh, your friend's name, amount of the bet, and the uh, main bet. Uh, it also shows the date of the bet. Um, um, the first section, um, you can type in your information, like your name, uh, your bet, and your amount of bet, which will be shown on your friend's devices. Um, uh, also, you could see some numbers um, on the top of the screen, which is uh, at the moment not here. But uh, there are GPS coordinates. It is provided by your browser's location. It shows your location where the bet happened, which can be useful. Um, I think the project was a good experience for me. Uh, I programmed and also learned HTML for the first time. Uh, at the beginning, I was hopeless because uh, I didn't know how to start, but uh, afterwards my mentor helped me out and teach me the basics um, of HTML programming, which was very useful. Also, the designing uh, of the project was very interesting and fun. So overall, it was a great experience. Thank you so much. What a great project.